so hello guys in this video i'm gonna show you how to create a chest system you can interact with the chest you can open the chest and then you will obtain items that you can fully control all in blueprint okay now this is from our previous video you can interact with items you can take the items and it will add to the player counts right there okay so let's get started so inside our dirty assets folder we can create a new folder i'll name this chest open the folder and then i will drag and drop my assets here you can use any asset that you want but make sure that you have the body and the top separated so it would be easier to be animated okay so here i will just delete the materials right here i'll create a new material i right click on the master color create material instance i'll name this mi underscore chest move this into this folder move here so here i can uh, set the color of this like to maybe brown like that i'll open the body here lock it into there i duplicate again i'll name this like maybe mi underscore chest 2 i guess this one will be a little bit lighter okay save it lock this into this one and for the inside i will duplicate another natural instance i will name this and i just underscore gold open that might be a little bit mm, like that save drag and drop just like that very easy now for the top here yeah let's plug in here and this one will be a nice chance too yep just like that in the content browser blueprint actors i'll right click create a new folder for the chest double click on it right click open class actor i'll name this bp underscore chest open that class settings add a new interface bi underscore interface don't forget compile event go to different graph here you can on interactive right here you can right click and implement event also on hover you can right click and implement event go back to viewport on the viewport here you can add a new static mesh uh, i'll name this chest mesh static mesh here you can choose the chest the bottom part of the chest and then you can copy paste the mesh here i will drag this in inside the chest mesh so it will be like this i'll f2 and i'll rename this to be chest that i'll change this to chest top and i will position the chest to be maybe like this if just rotate it it's fine right okay then i will compile go to even graph on the event on hover right here create a branch holding b and click Lock this into the is hover chest mesh and chest top i will set the outline render custom path to be true so do the same thing for top here and i will set stencil set custom depth stencil value this will be one yep i think we can delete the branch and just plug it directly into the value here and for the value here you can drag and select integer is hover if it's a it's gonna be one and b is just leave it as zero command this on third okay for the interacted here i will check for the player event if it's valid if it is we can open the chest right so we're gonna create a new custom event for that add custom event i'll name this open chest for this one you can drag off and i'll create a new timeline a timeline it's gonna be timeline underscore open chest double click on it you can add a new track add a float track i'll name this lerp value on the length here i'll say this to be let's say 0.75 and you can right click anywhere add key to curve float zero here set the time to be zero and the value to be zero 
create another one right click add key to curve float zero this is gonna be time it's gonna be 0.75 and the value gonna be one okay you can click on this zoom to fit horizontal and zoom to fit vertically you can right click again add key to curve float zero here you're gonna say this is gonna be like 0.7 and the value is 1.05 okay so it will create like a smooth animation and to make it more smoother you can you can select all of the pin here by dragging here make sure it's all blue right click and auto just like that it will create like a curve so it will be smoother compile even graph here on the lerp value you can lerp rotator but actually we just need a one axis rotation so it's on the x axis here you notice that the x value is changing the red one so you're gonna go back to even graph here you can just choose the lerp float lerp here hold alt and click so it will be uh, disconnected drag it into the alpha for the a here it's gonna be zero and for the b it's gonna be 110 110 here you can on the chest top here you can set relative rotation drag off into the update not the finish okay to the rotation here you can split struct pin x is gonna be a uh, return value and uh, for y and z you can get relative rotation right click split struct pin and i'll lock the pitch and the yaw into the into here compile now don't forget to call the event into this even uninterrupted open chest just like that compile we can try to play the game we can drag the chest here i will increase the chest size a little bit maybe 1.5 compile okay play oh i forgot and here on the viewport don't forget to set the collision preset to custom and i will set the interaction trace responses to block also do the same thing for the top here custom set this to block compile play now when you hover at the chest you will see the outline effects and then when you interact it it will open the chest yep just like that pretty easy okay so go back to event graph i'll create a new variable here click plus i'll name this is opened compile this will be false at first and the open chest here you will set this to true we to play here and i'm gonna go back into the event on interrupted here hold on b branch connect it to this palette here let me true is open drag it hold control and this should be not boolean and now how to add the items into the player inventory i will create a new event again a custom event i will name this um add items to player for this one i will randomize the items that will be added uh so we can hold on b branch here lock that in on the condition here you can drag and type random boolean with weight let's say 50 percent of the time uh the player will obtain uh, one apple and two banana and the other one will be like maybe one grape or two bananas and feel free to play with the value one means 100 percent and zero means zero percent so you can like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 and I think for this video, I will set it to 2.5. You can add a new input into this event. Input. This will be type BP underscore third person character. I'll name this player reference. And here you can um, set apple. Get apple. I'll plus. One into the variable here and the banana set banana get banana uh, 
plus 2 crazy now we should update the player hut so we're gonna get player hut reference update item scan player reference will be going into this player reference here okay so on the false here we can create another branch let's say this will be 0 0.25 and for this one let's add a grape so we can set grape and get grape Plus into the true here plus let's say plus two another one for apple set apple copy that oops get apple actually you can use this pin right here i'll just use it plus one okay and then on the false here you can set the banana let's say set banana plus two don't forget to upload the items count here just like that command this add items to the player randomized now we can call the function here add items to player oops not that one this one connect the player reference to this player reference here compile play now when we interact with this chest we'll obtain the banana too as you can see you will not be able to uh, interact with the chest again since you have opened it let's try it one more time here press e and i got one apple and two banana i will fix the issue here if you hover with this um, chest you will not see any interaction prompt that's weird so let's fix it right now on the even on over here you can right um hold on b plug this branch into the true value here it's open um not boolean and for this one i will just check the player reference here get player hot reference uh toggle interaction indicator this will be plugged in into the piece of work here on click play now you'll see the interaction form when you interact with it okay oh okay so we have to reset this we can copy all of this copy and here you can paste it on the open chest right here let me drag this further down here paste it there finish plug the plug this one into the finish node over here you can delete the select int for this player reference here you can drag it and plug this into the open chest here to add pin to node just like that with that i'll name this player reference okay test mesh gonna be false sub custom value gonna be zero oops i forgot to uh, connect the pin here player reference into this even right here don't forget guys that's pretty bad actually <laughs> so here when you hover to the chest you will see the online effect and the uh, interaction pro widget and when you click on it you will not be able to interact with it again and you will obtain some items this is randomized yep so that's it it's pretty easy right in the next video i will be showing you how to create an item notification so when the player picks up an item that will show the on screen like a notification pop up widget yep i think that's it for this video it's pretty short hope you guys like the video leave a like if you have any comment or suggestion just leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye